there are times when to communicate with a friend online is just too much typing. And it's easier to make a video. This is one of them times. The story of this box is very detailed. I have another one like it. I bought them at Apple Blossom Apiary in North East Indiana. Or Northwest Indiana, I guess. Uh, whatever. It was a long drive to get a bunch of bee boxes. Uh, this guy, Apple Blossom, moves his hives from Florida to Indiana, I guess, or something like that. So his boxes are kind of, they get exposed to a lot of humidity. You could tell, because they're just like waterlogged almost and won't hold paint. Uh, I power washed this and the paint just came right off. So I'm painting it again with this uh, expensive duration paint and it seems to be acting differently than the last time I painted it. I painted it with cheap barn paint the last time. It was $10 a gallon. This time I'm using this expensive stuff. And you know, once wood gets to where it won't hold paint, it won't hold paint. So I'm wondering, you know, this looks and feels Right, but I just wonder how it's going to act once I put it outside. I don't know. I'm experimenting. Uh, this box has a couple more seasons use in it. So if the paint falls right off again, it ain't that big a deal. It's going to, you know, the, the box is going to rot anyway. It just, I just need it to look decent, I guess. And I can't believe that other paint just power washed right off. Just right off. I mean, the, the, I had two of these boxes, and the first one, the paint literally completely came off every square bit. This one still had little bits stuck. So I decided I'd just paint over them. They'll probably sit in my shed for a year before I use them. So that's plenty of time for the paint to cure. We're just going to see how this one goes. I don't know. It'll take me five years before I can actually report on... Um, but it, it feels like, I mean, plus the paint just kind of sucks into the wood. I've never seen anything like it. And it's just, you know, painting rotten old wood, basically. <laughs> it's pretty stupid. I guess that's the bottom line. That's the comment I would probably make. Is, gee, that's pretty stupid. But I'd like to, you know, use this again a couple more times. For, you know a year or two keep bees in it and uh that'll be that i've got stacks of these things and you know losing one ain't no big deal what you, what i tend to do with ones that get old is i'll build a bottom for it and fasten the bottom on and then Put a partition in the middle, or two, and make it into a queen castle. I could make this into a queen castle or a a duplex or resource hive. A resource hive is like two hives in one. You put a barrier down the middle. You have to have the barrier go all the way down to the bottom board. So what you do is you get a bottom board. A specially built one just for this and, and fasten it to the box and they'll have a hole here and then another hole here one for each side and you end up with a a double hive kind of Just keep cleaning these and painting them. Uh, and then at about nine o'clock, I switch from painting to actually working bees. Then I'll work with bees all day. 
And uh, by the end of the day, I'm pretty pooped. I'm running the hose back here to keep my uh, berry patch wet. Wow, these are really growing, which is good. If you grow these raspberries, you'll notice that you have these. I'll go ahead and identify them that. And here's one, and here's one, and here's one, and there's one, and here's one, and here's one, and here's one, and there's one. All those green shoots that don't have berries, those will be your berries next year. Black raspberries is a biannual plant. It grows for one year and then bears fruit on the second year. You will notice that all the vines that have fruit on them have turned a different color. See? Those are your fruit bearing vines when they're. When they... See, here's one. And this got some new growth off of it. Some sprouts that sprouted off. But that's how this plant works. When I was a kid, I thought I'd do my mom a favor and I went around and pulled all these ones that don't have berries. I broke them off. So she could go through and pick berries easier and not have stickers. Well, that was dumb. I just killed all the next year's fruit. And since I've been watering, this stuff has been really taken off. As far as growth on these. So uh, that's good for next year. I would say. It's weird how some things you have to plan a year ahead for. We're looking forward to picking all these berries. It's going to be two to three weeks before they get ready. But it's been a like a drought here, so I've been watering them. Look at all them berries. Solid berries. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep watering them too. Because uh, without water, they'll be pretty. There won't be much of a crop. So I'm watering my berries. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.